Washington University has a long history with positron emission tomography. Michael Terpergosian, Mark Ragel, and colleagues here really pioneered the equipment and the application of positron emission tomography and had the first human scanner and have had a consistent record of innovating with positron emission tomography. PET-MRI represents a bit of a challenge. It, has, it brings together two groups that have quite different cultures, those that have done MR scanning and those that have done PET scanning. Neither could perform these exams alone. And so it's, it's presented somewhat of a challenge to bring these groups together to solve these problems. And I think it's been a real team building experience. And the combined images are more valuable, more useful than the sum of the parts. Uh, you see uh, a, a PET scan simply tells us where the radioisotopes are located, uh, but it doesn't tell us very much information at all about the, the anatomy of the surrounding tissues. But add uh, an MRI scan to a PET scan, and then we have detailed information about the anatomy and the function of the surrounding organs and tissues in the area where the radioisotope's located. On the research side, MRI and PET together really could open up uh, a lot of opportunities for understanding, how, for example, how the brain works. PET has been able to understand oxygen metabolism and oxygen extraction while the brain is performing functions or when it's under stress. MRI has also recently been exploring those same kinds of, uh, that same kind of physiology. The idea that you could do those simultaneously using PET and MRI, very exciting. In children, PET MRI offers a major advantage over PET CT. By substituting the MRI, you could reduce the radiation dose to the child by half. So we, we think it could potentially replace PET CT in many pediatric patients and many young adults. This is the only hospital-based PET MRI scanner in the country, which gives us a real opportunity to kind of kick the tires and figure out what this thing can do.